In a few hours, the Prime Minister of Grenada is expected to hold court with some media personalities in what has become a curated series of press events. I trust that the selected few reporters and media personalities would satisfy the public's need to know by asking probing and open-ended questions related to government's plans to cushion the negative impacts of runaway inflation and high fuel prices, or even the sticker shock that some in the national community has been experiencing recently as a result of the recent hikes in their Grenlec utility bills. Further, the country is also on the verge of presenting another pandemic budget under the theme towards Vision 35, protecting lives, safeguarding livelihoods, and investing for growth and resilience. At this evening's event, one should anticipate also an accounting from the country's leader with respect to the impact of the previous budget. Perhaps we should also look at the receipts from the Public Accounts Committee as a guide for what was spent, how it was spent, and to what effect, especially against the backdrop of the fiscal reports from April, May, and June of 2021 that demonstrated government successes in earning more revenue than what was initially projected at a whopping 175.9 million EC dollars, coming mostly from customs and excise collections and remittances. Too often, some in the media lack the temerity to ask the tough questions of the nation's elected officials, either out of fear of reprisals or concern that they may lose access to said elected officials if they simply do their jobs.